So the port of Party Bells that is the warehouse is so that you get to actually uh, tangibly feel the different uh, decor elements and different products we offer. For example, this is a board of some of our invitations. You can feel the quality of the paper. You can take them apart. They're, they're kind of like a Tetris kind of thing where you can mix and match the different uh, backdrops with different colors, with everything. We have boxes and boxes of them uh, we can put together and show you. Other than that, the, the back here we show a bunch of our lanterns that are used for centerpieces, um, depending on how many tables. And you always want a couple extra as well, just for uh, on the cake table or on the DJ table, things like that. Across the top, you'll see a different collection of card boxes that our brides are welcome to use as rentals for uh, their big day. Because why would you ever need a card box again in your life uh, other than your wedding day? So for generally, uh, prices range like five to ten dollars. You can rent one of these and uh, use it for your big day. More popular in the outdoor weddings we have are the yard games. Um, we're, I love this addition to, to weddings because not everyone's dancers and not everyone is uh, talkers. So you can go outside. If there's children involved, we have the giant Jenga, which the kids love. We have a various collection of Connect Fours. We have regular cornholes that, that you can use. And we also, if, if it's a, a step up kind of thing, we do have regulation size cornhole boards that if somebody wants to get serious about that, um, they certainly can. So if we go a little bit further here, you'll see uh, popular in the spring and summer, or spring and fall, are our uh, basket of blankets um, for guests just as the evening wears on, the older guests or the younger guests or the scantily dressed girls that always come and always get chilly. It's nice to have a, a nice wrap for them. This section uh, is a continuation, more centerpiece options. Um, some of our bigger display options, like our, our candelabra, are five and a half foot. Yeah, five and a half foot candelabra. Um, the the street lights are used for pathing for paths. Uh, we have a ton of candlesticks, vases. We have the that can be used as uh, ceiling hangings. We have candles holders. We have the actual terrariums. Um, endless possibilities again with those. Uh, you'll also see other decor elements that can be used for parties. We have uh, vases of assorted colors and, and different kind of um, centerpiece options, like things like this where people uh, can actually make like tablescapes out of with terrariums or, or their choice of, uh, do not that vase over. Um, see how that light turned on? I did that intentionally. <laughs> um, these are, are French flower buckets from, that are really nice on pathways. So I know when you come back here, it can be really overwhelming to see all this. We schedule an hour consultation for a reason because first glance, it's just so much to look at. Um, it's, it can be overwhelming, but once you, once you start realizing what your eye is drawn to, we encourage you to take pictures. We encourage you, you know, to, to take the design aspects out front and really, um, try them on, take different pictures and everything else. So we don't want you to feel rushed. We don't want you to feel like you have to make a decision right now or, you know, your wedding will be a failure. Cause it won't, I promise. Here's a collection of cake stands. Again, when in your life are you ever going to use a cake stand? Um, so we offer everything from real blingy and glitzy and fancy for your cakes, uh, the silver tiers to just your basic glass, um, black, the, the wood, of course, is still popular. Uh, and continue on each side, we still have the design elements for centerpieces. Again, you'll see things like, scattered in, you'll see things like pink trees and baby carriages. And that's because we do a, a fair amount of parties, showers for uh, baby showers and that kind of thing. So while you probably wouldn't necessarily want that at your wedding, you might want it at the baby shower that's to follow a few months later. Um, more centerpiece ideas. We've seen these used as seating charts uh, with candles in, which I think is just extraordinarily cool. Um, kind of layered like that, pyramided like that. We have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of charger plates. 
um, good for uh, making a, a table look a little more finished. Uh, the charger plates that we have tons and tons of are the gold and the silver. We do get other ones in. We have smaller quantities of other colors. But again, when you just set a plate on them, uh, your table just looks more finished. Especially nice if you're going with a real plain tablecloth or if you have a, a larger table um, where there's a lot of surface area. The, the 72 inch tables, yeah, are, you know, just have a lot of space beyond. So it's nice to use up some of that space. Um, always popular are our votive candles. We have everything in mercury glass from, from a rose gold to, to a, a rice paper covered. Um, we rent them, they include a candle, not this candle. <laughs> we'll have our candle in here. When you rent them, they come with a candle. The reason they come with a candle is because they're 10 hour candles. Much like, you know, French milled soaps that are more expensive, they last longer because they have less air in them. You can go and buy a bag of 50 candles from Joanne's and they're not going to last through the cocktail hour. I mean, they're great and they're cheap and everything else, but we ensure that you have at least an eight hour burning candle so it can be lit well before uh, your event starts and will last through the event. So that's why we include them because the votive without a candle really isn't a whole lot. More easy, we have easels of every sort, more vases and centerpieces, uh, our wood collection, which is, is a work in progress right now. Um, the Jack Daniels boxes, which we rent, are really popular for at bars, for koozies. Um, they are actually made from Jack Daniel barrels. Another basket, or another option for your blankets is the big blanket chest. This aisle is filled with <laughs> uh, glasses and lights and cafe lights and Edison bulbs and vases and fish bowls and just about anything you can imagine that you would need to, to use in mass in lighting in our decor setups. The lockers down the center are filled with extra centerpieces, filled with catering items, uh, less used stuff, but important stuff that if you need it, it's here for you. Up top is an addition of, of our candelabras. Um, what else is up there? Our stanchions, if you ever needed to guide people around. Also included in the locker are um, chair covers, extra tablecloths of every size, because you never know when you're going to need one. But our specialty linens are all hung up here for you to peruse, for us to pull out and put on a table up there and take a look at if there's a color or something. This is um, my area of our, of our warehouse. Um, we have everything lined up here so that it can be easily gotten and packed up. Um, once the party bell uh, that you're working with and you have gone over all the decor items that you want and um, everything that you're going to have uh, for your event they will give me um, a list uh, of the of the order and I will go ahead and make sure we get that all packed up I go through everything um, that we are sending out and make sure everything is in brand new condition for your event so that everything is um, all the T's are crossed and the I's are dots for all of that stuff. I check lights, make sure that's all going so that we don't have any surprises on the day of your event. Once I have all that together, uh, we pack it up really nicely and protect everything for you, for um, either, uh, either of two things to happen next. Uh, it will be put together and um, placed in an area for you to come pick up uh, before your event or myself and my team will take everything and load it up into our Party Bells van and drive it to the venue uh, and um, make sure that it's put in the place that it can be easily gotten to or um, if agreed upon, uh, start setting some stuff up as well. Um, that being said, uh, we are on the lookout for some more help in that department. Um, we call them, we call uh, them are party bulls, so I'm a party bull. Ooh. So um, if anybody uh, that's watching watching this is interested in um, more opportunities like that, we always have some seasonal uh, and part-time uh, positions open for that. Um, then, after all that is over, your your um, event went over swimmingly. Um, we get it back and I put everything back, and we do it all over again for uh, our next client. So this is also where 
we store all of um, what is called in the industry wall or draping, um, as you might call it. Um, this is stuff that we put up. Um, we can sometimes hang it from the ceiling. If you've seen, we have um, some of it hanging from our ceiling, decorating our warehouse here. It can be used to do anything and everything to really transform uh, the location that you have your event at into something that is looks that's easy to do, but looks extremely spectacular um, and really brings your event up to that next level. We also have um, things that can be rented out that are for if your event is in any season. So we have um, propane heaters that we have um, that we rent out. And then uh, this here is our is brand new. We haven't even used it yet. Um, is our um, misters, our, is our fan mister. So if it's extremely hot out one uh, during your event, um, we have this as well to provide just a little bit of um, relief to some of your guests if they are they're hot. Um, and then we have multitudes of fans and all of that to um, make everybody comfortable no matter what time of year your event is. <laughs> Back to me again. So continuing back in the, the showroom area of the warehouse, uh, last, section, last section on this side is deluxe furniture. Um, really nice for brides and grooms instead of having, everybody's taking your picture. So as you can see here, it just kind of gives you a nice aura of elegance, I'm gonna say. Also, you can see a sampling of some of the arches we carry. We can deck them out with lights and garlands, or you can have your floors do it. We have chandeliers for them. Um, also very popular, especially with the, the bling here, is the backdrops. The sequin silver, sequin and gold. Um, again, behind, you really want to pay attention to what's behind you at your sweetheart table or your head table. Uh, it, gives, it gives a finished look to it. For, uh, for your guests to come up and have their picture taken with you and for everyone who will be taking your picture during that time. Uh, so this, if you thought that area was blingy, this is even more bling. Um, we do a lot of crystal columns. We do a lot of chandeliers. It takes something like a plain white vinyl tent. Uh, you put up a chandelier, you put a spotlight on it, or you light it from down and it, it gives, it adds a certain amount of magic. The motion of the chandeliers or the crystals um, contribute a lot to an event as well. Things are so static that it, it's just nice to have some motion in the room other than, other than people. We have the drapes, we have actual curtains. We also carry, um, not because we necessarily want to sell you flowers, but because flowers are so often a, a part of your day, we do have a sampling of different colors and different collections so that when you're looking at linens, when, you're, when you have a centerpiece up, if you wonder what it would look like to add a piece of eucalyptus, we can add uh, succulents, we can add the greenery just again to give you the finished look. So many of our brides are vision oriented and it's so much easier and more comfor comforting and comfortable to uh, pull these items up and look at them. We have everything from, from just some fancy sunflowers, again, just to carry that element, uh, to the plumerias that we can hang from the ceiling um, over dance floors. Which is for. So, oh, so we have the floral wall. Let's just go there. Uh, we have both pink and white. Again, I was talking about backdrops earlier. Um, this makes a really nice backdrop if uh, springtime, nice. We have white all white panels and we have all pink panels to make enough for a background for a bride and groom's chair. If you want your chairs to disappear rather than have the throne look, we do carry just some acrylic ghost chairs for the bride and groom to sit at. Again, because you're, you're in this beautiful dress and behind you is two little black points of the, the black banquet chair at your venue. Um, you know, why? When you can rent both of these, I think for $40 and have them delivered and picked up and you just look better. You look better in, on acrylic. You look better naked, baby. So here's also uh, some of the crystal centerpieces that we offer. We do all kinds of combinations 
of those from the barrels for centerpieces. We've done walkways with them. Um, endless, endless options. Another little chandelier. And then here is Aaron and Gloria to talk about something new we're offering this year, our $25 centerpiece bar. I would like to make that this to mine. Pop! <laughs> I'm gonna have to have them stationed. Are you gonna be on camera? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Okay. All right. So, um, you guys remember Gloria, my bride. We're gonna go ahead and use the $25 centerpiece bar to show you how easy it is to put together a centerpiece that fits your decor style and your budget. Um, so this is a new feature for 2021 developed by Amy, um, and it is genius. We've already tried it out twice, I believe. Uh, Gloria was here with a client of hers, and we had a great time doing it. So I'm gonna put Gloria to the test and see how she does today. Okay. Um, the way it works is we have this little table here. We have focal pieces for your centerpiece. We have an assortment of tea lights. As you can see, John has already lit all of the flames. Behind Gloria, there is our scatter bar. And above are some add-ons that we can talk about later. And then behind Gloria again is all of our table numbers. So Gloria, why don't we go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and start with a base that you see on the bottom of the shelf. Okay. Um, tell me a little bit about, a, a, let's make up an event. What event are we planning tonight? Um, are we planning we my wedding? We can plan your wedding if let's you'd like. Let's plan my wedding. All right, yeah. so I know when we had our consultation, you had talked about liking black and white. Mm -hmm. And gold. was it silver or gold? Gold. So, um, Keeping with that theme, is there a base on the bottom that really kind of speaks to you in terms of your decor theme? I would probably lean toward this yeah. square mirror. Okay, nice and classy. Mm -hmm. So, pop that bad boy on there. So the next place that we kind of head is the centerpiece and the focal piece itself. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of different options. Now this is not all that we offer at Party Bells, uh, but these are the ones that stay in the $25 price range. So are there any that call to you or speak to you with your theme? I love. Gold tree. Oh, gold. I was I hoping love, you would go for that. I love height. Okay. So we're gonna bring this. Yeah. The gold tree with the optional gems. Now if you're not doing something as blingy as Gloria is, you can always just opt to take these off. Some people like to put fresh florals in here. Some people will add greenery at the base, but I love this. Okay. Um, so after we've developed our centerpiece set, we can head over time to the tea lights. Now, lighting is a big important factor and your venue is gonna determine a lot of how much light you need at your mm -hmm. event. You can never go wrong with tea lights. So is there a tea light style that you think best matches? I probably, because it's so tall, I like the idea of maybe some I like taller. this too. Perfect. I do like this. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, so next up we have table scatter. Um, table scatter, again, it's, it's all personal preference, but table scatter is a great way to just add some bulk to the base of your table. Keep in mind, this is a very small table. When you're sitting with eight guests at the table, your table's gonna be much larger. So it's a great way to fill in that empty space without spending a lot of money. We have quite a lot of stuff back there. Anything that speaks to you? So if I had, if I had crystals, I would probably stick with something with a crystal sock. So probably one of these two. Okay. Either that or I love the golds too. And this kind of has some crystals in it so. And another great thing to remember is based on your linen color. Right. Perhaps you would go with a black linen. Mm -hmm. So you want to pick something that's going to reflect well with the black linen. So I'm leaning a little bit more because they have them here on the table. There you I'm go. I love it. How do you feel about that so far? I like that. Okay. I would definitely have black on the table. I think black would be the way to go. Mm -hmm. um, we do offer a meeting that you can add on to your consultation where we'll actually bring in your linen color, your linen style, and we'll do a full mock setup of your table. Um, it's at an hourly charge. It's very inexpensive and it's great for DIY brides who maybe have somebody setting up for them day of. They can give a picture to the mother-in-law, the coordinator of the entire setup. So, um, but this gives you a nice taste of it mm -hmm. at least. Mm -hmm. What's the last step? Then we need to choose our table number. Table number. Um, we have a lot this, of options over here. Yeah, this feels a little bit tricky for me. Which one I would want to add in? Are you pulled to any in particular? Um, I'm thinking maybe to do something black. Okay. Um, so really this is here so let's see what that looks like okay. you can always kind of move your 
tea light does you need to that as well. Work. With your black tablecloth, that mm -hmm. would absolutely mm -hmm. pop up. I also really like the gold geometric, which I think mm -hmm. a lot of people feel is a very trendy piece. But because you have such a classic theme and those are so dainty, that might work really well. It all depends, again, how it's going to reflect on the tablecloth. What do you think on that one? I actually kind of like it because it, it with it ha with it being kind of like a wooden and then having the tree, I think that actually it pulls it all together. Yeah, and Perfect. I think even just popping some greenery in around there would just really soften it. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. That's awesome. Once you have glasses, serveware, favors, if you're putting favors on the table, that really rounds out the entire table. Mm -hmm. um, and Gloria was able to put this all together for $25 per table at a flat fee, which is great. Um, Gloria's going to have the option to pick her rentals up at the warehouse and return them to us after her event or we can choose to deliver them and go as far as setting them up for it at additional rates. But that $25 a price point is uh, it's pretty primo. So come on in and try out the centerpiece bar. Um, Gloria, do you want to try another one quick? Do you want to try to develop a, sure. a secondary Maybe event? A secondary one, yep. A marble. Yeah, it's a marbles. marble cake. I'm guessing marble. It's the best cake ever, guys. I don't even really like cake. Ugh. I can put in the trash cake. Cake. Love cake. Not trash. all cake. cake. Yeah, they make trash cake. It's amazing. Is, do you think that's a that's a fondant <gasps> icing? No, it's buttercream. Mm. Yep. Buttercream's better. Mm. It almost wow, looks that's a large like piece. That can be yours. I'll, be, I'll eat it. <laughs> Dinner. I got no Everybody hates me. Thank Nobody you. Nobody likes me. Thanks for everything. Okay, bye. I'll get this. See ya. Thanks. Everybody hates me. Nobody 